Why does God put people in our life if all they do is hurt us or make us feel bad? Maybe the question is, does God want you to have people in your life that break you off? Answer is no. Cause I used to think this too for years, and it broke me down, so much by allowing such people in my life. Until past year. I found a Christian professor at my university who spoke about boundaries. Boundaries that will keep us function healthily. Healthy boundaries between people, friends, in marriage, with parents. I applied it to my life. My life is now much more nicer, with kinder people around me. He explains it like this. Our body needs good nutritions to keep our body function well. So does our soul mental well-being. We need good, safe people around us. We build each other up encourage each other, so our soul mental well-being stays good. Jesus didn't came to save us, so that we break our own souls down by allowing all kinds of bad people in our life. In Proverbs it even says, When a prudent man sees danger, he hides himself. In Proverbs are a lot of verses for us to keep our souls good by avoiding some certain people. Because I was not taught to have boundaries. I allowed all kinds of people to come into my life. Did God put them there? Not all. God also lets you know when to avoid some people. How do you know who is good for your mental well-being and who not? From my own experience. I can say. When you are around someone, and when you leave the appointment and go home. What do you feel? Do you feel happy? Do you feel validated? Do you feel accepted? Do you feel a good vibe and connection with that person? When you feel positive and good, big signal this is a relation from God. When you leave the appointment and go home and feel worse than before you went, or feel judged, or feel unseen, or feel not accepted, or feel you don't have a nice connection with the person. When you feel negative and unhappy, big signal those people are not sent by God, not for that moment, at least. God only send good things to you. A Bible verse says this. All good things are from above, God. It means, bad things that come your way, are not from above. And Proverbs tells you to avoid them skillfully. I mean to put them on a healthy distance, not cut off people. Unless God really tells you to cut them off. That's a difference case. Cause even Jesus has a closer group of three, then of twelve, then of seventy, and so on, between those groups there are distances in how much you allow that person to come close and have influence in your life, or not. Hope this helps.